I think my eyes are getting better. Instead of a big dark blur, I see a big light blur. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, what is this, part nine, I believe, of issue 93. And uh, hopefully what I have planned is going to work out, but we're going to find out real soon. Uh, but first, in part nine, or part eight, when I was painting uh, painting the, this part here, I had mistakenly uh, overlapped the tape and I'd covered up part of this. And so I went back and corrected it so that this whole part was painted. And uh, I went ahead and recorded it and you can see that here. So have a look. Yeah, so that was interesting. I was highly confused as to how or why that happened, and I had to watch the video after the fact to see what was going on. Uh, so one of the things I want to do is make this so this is magnetic. The problem that I'm having is, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but the magnet is proud of where the screw screws in and so what I think I'm going to need to do is use my Dremel and Dremel down a little bit in order to give the spot for the magnet to go down and be the same level as the screw spot um, before I do that I am going to boy that's dusty this was sitting over um, in my paint area and so it's got a lot of dust and stuff on it so before that I do that, I want to see, uh, take a look at the ring where this screws on and see if there's any high spots or low spots or anything like that. So I may be able to get away without having to use the Dremel on it. So I'm going to go take a look at that real quick. And depending on how that goes, I'll come back. And we're going to do a trial on this piece first. Uh, before I start going to town on this because that would be a bad scenario if I went through it and so I need to get an idea of how deep I got to go so let me go look at that we'll come back and get started as needed okay all right so as I expected or suspected uh, that ring where the screws go in where this basically attaches to it is perfectly flat so uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to use this or not because the problem is that these screws go through and um, the, the screws go through uh, or the, these little nubs go through a hole and then the screws hold and it all sits flat. So let's just have a look and see what we can possibly do. Um, uh, I'm not terribly excited about this. Uh, I just, after I went and looked down, oh, it's flat. Okay, no big deal. I'll just have to dremel this down a little bit. So, And then I realized, no, the holes are so big that uh, this fits inside. And then the screws that are used are the little silver screws with the, the flat heads. Uh, I don't have any sitting out here at the moment. Um, but you've seen me use them countless times. It's basically all the, the little silver screws that holds all these things together. Um, so I may have to rethink what I was going to do there. Let me, let me contemplate this because I really do not want to glue this down. But at the same time, I don't like the idea of just setting it on there because I'm afraid it will fall off. So we may have to come up with a plan on how that's going to be able to go on there and stay on there. Uh, in order to implement said plan, I think I'm going to need to clean up enough space to be able to bring the top part over here. So we're going to have to get some of these paints out of the road and all that kind of stuff. So let me... 
adjust fire and do that again and uh, we will come back and take a look at that um, together so sorry for the the additional pause all right so it's just gonna sit flat on here like this um, and it's uh, let's flip this over so if we look here Let's try something like this. Perfect. So if we look, what we could do, potentially, let's get some of these magnets, is what I'm wondering is if I could put one flat. Holy cow, come on now. So put one flat there and then have one hey, Merry Christmas. I wonder if there'd be enough magnetic pull to hold it there. So let's try something real quick. Kind of wish I would have experimented with this before uh before we got into it but you know where's the fun in that this way we all get to experience it all together Now, if we, <laughs> so that's not going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. All right. We will try my original plan. We'll see if we can Dremel out a spot deep enough in there without going all the way through. I have a feeling we'll go all the way through. Uh, matter of fact, just looking at it here, um, looking at the side here, I imagine this is how thick everything else is going to be, and the magnet is going to be just as thick, so at the very least, the magnet would be sticking up, I mean, even if I went almost all the way through, the magnet is still going to stick up a little bit. The unfortunate thing is that's really, really going to affect my plan of what I was going to do. Oh, hmm. You know what that means? Back to the drawing board. All right, I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to try to figure this out. All right, so I'm going to shift gears a little bit. Um, I had an idea of finding some like machine screws that I could just cut to size and go in there. Uh, six, uh, number six was the smallest I could find on short notice. Uh, I think four would probably be too small. Um, so in order for this idea to work, and I don't even know if it would work, I'm not 100% sure how well a sixteenth of an inch nugget of metal is going to stick to one of these magnets. I mean, the ma it sticks pretty good, but that's a pretty heavy duty piece of metal. And the more mass, I think, the stronger the pull. <clears throat> so I ordered some one eighth by one sixteenth inch uh, neodymium magnets. And my plan is to I'll knock off the nubs here and actually glue the magnets where those nubs are 
and basically precisely where these holes end up lining up so there's a hole there hole over here hole over there six of them all the way around um and glue them precisely where those holes are and then i'm actually going to glue one of these larger magnets on the underneath side so that should get um quite a bit of pull there and uh give a pretty solid hold but i'll be able to pull it out hopefully uh when i need to so um it's really the best option the other option was to glue the magnets on the inside here and then get a small washer and still use the dremel and hollow out a spot glue the washer in place and hope that was going to hold it enough it might actually hold it enough but i don't know for sure so I'm just going to kind of go above and beyond. All that to be said is now we need to do some more masking. I wasn't going to paint this time, but now I'm finding myself needing to paint. And so we are going to get started with that now. Um, and so let me bring up this picture here. There's going to be other pictures I'm going to go off of, but I'm just going to start with this one right now. And uh, we're going to see where all we need to, to mask. So we know we got a section here. And we know we have a section. Must be maybe this. This skinny little strip there, I think. Yeah, I think it's that one there. And then we're going to have a little strip right here. Just going to go through there. I don't know exactly where off to see. It might be like in the middle there. And then we're going to have this strip here will be done. And then this strip here will get done. So that's in this this section here. And then we're just going to work our way around. Um, I don't know. And I'm just going to go with the gray, the medium gray or neutral gray right now. And then we'll kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so there we go. That's this part. Uh, not the easiest thing to mask um, um, when I paint it. I have to be very careful along here. What I think I might do is, you know, do one of these. Or I might try just kind of stick this up along the edge when I spray it. And, you know, spray it. You do the same thing on this side. Spray it. We'll see how it goes. Um, but that'll work just as good as any masking I'm going to be able to put on there. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to cut or anything like that. 
cool thing is like over here and some other spots there's going to be pipes and um yeah so that's going to take it for this part uh i'll move around to this other part but i need to check it out and figure out what we're doing if anything on this part and uh i don't know if there's much in the back but we'll check those out as well uh I, from what i was looking at there's nothing on its counterpart to this side on that side over there there's nothing on that side that we have to worry about so be here here and then the back corner we already know that where the engine pods are that's going to be completely separate and done differently or separately so uh yeah so i'll pull up all the stuff to get these other parts done and we'll get moving into that see you in a few all right we are back so i have located a couple of things that i'm going to have to adjust um one is i need to put a couple of marks here and also all right along here is going to have to be some stuff too sadly um, should be able to just do this and so the reason why so these ones are red going to be red um, let me show you a picture here um, so these are going to be red and the reason why I need to get them done now is because um, <clears throat> I'm going to do the gray first and then I'll do the red later. Okay, we got that done. Let's move over to this side. And this side is far less interesting from what I can see anyway. So with this one, I need to get the insert here because it's going to go up to a part up here. So that's a section I missed. We'll have a look at that here in a moment. Let's get the rest of this masked off.
Okay, the last two parts right here. Uh, just doing a quick last one three once look over here that is all of the basically the medium gray that we need to worry about so I will go get this painted and the only ones I'm not going to remove the masking for is the red and we'll see how the red the gray looks all right uh, oh I got to finish doing the masking for that so I'll get that done we'll get it painted and uh, we'll come back and see how it looks. See you guys in a few. All right, let's see how it came out. We'll start off with the little one. Okay, a couple of things to notice. One, I spilled a bunch of gray paint in here, and uh, I need to clean it up. So, we're going to see how well this works. I really don't know. I forgot to mask this off, and as a result, uh, kind of painted over the top of it a little bit. Uh, again, not terribly concerned. I am. I might fix that uh, that white spot there. Uh, let's see how these parts come together. So this part is going to be interesting because. So if we can get this, so there's that. Um, you can see where those two kind of go together. And the part I was really worried about mostly was the shade. And I think that it matches quite well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the fact that I kind of went over, not huge deal. Um, masking here could have been better. Uh, I thought I had done quite well, but apparently not. So I got a little bit of white, but that's okay. Um, masking here could have also been a bit better, but again, not terribly upset by it. Uh, I'm okay with that. So I mentioned that there's going to be some more gray painted. Um, so, uh, there's, I think it's these three here, I think, all need to get painted the same gray, and uh, I kind of didn't want to paint them at the same time, plus also, admittedly, I forgot about them, so um, those will get painted at some point. Um, I need to check, because they may actually be a tad bit darker, but I'm not sure I'll have to look, um, and uh, potentially I might... I'm starting to run out of paint because I had spilled a bunch. So that's why it's kind of light there. And then it's this other spot here, this one with the white. Uh, it was, I was running out of paint there as well. So when I paint that part, I might touch these other ones up just a little bit. Just a quick masking. Um, I won't even show that. I'll mask that and whatever. 
But I think that's going to be the end of this episode, part nine. Uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed that. You can really see what some of these colors, these additional colors and patches and stuff, what it does to help the Falcon kind of stand out. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, there's obviously some other colors that need to go in here, some other lighter grays and that kind of stuff, plus this whole back section. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right. With that, I want to thank you all for watching, and may the Force be with you always.